Hey guys, so today I've decided to do a little tutorial on what I like to call front whole body rolls. So front whole body rolls with the contact staff looks like this. So, first of all, let me just explain to you what that specific movement is good for in a, an athletic and a fitness sense. So, I'm one of those people who's trying to implement flow arts in a healthy fitness world and I want everybody to reap the benefits of it. So, in an athletic fitness sense, um, that exercise, that move in general, it is good for glute activation, it's good for back mobility and thoracic spine extension, also good for balance, and it's also good for hip stability. So when you do this move, you absolutely have to. You have to curl your hips under you and you have to squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Because if you let your hips just like spill out like that, you can actually hurt your back pretty bad. So. Number one rule with this movement, you absolutely have to curl your hips under you and clench your glutes as hard as you can. Squeeze the core in really tight and you're going to arch, you're gonna to try to make a rainbow with your chest back, up and back. So you don't wanna you know, just spill it out. You wanna make a rainbow with your chest. So like a half circle kind of motion with your chest, okay? So the footing of that you want to make sure you have your feet about a little bit wider than hip width apart. Try to keep your feet, your toes pointed as forward as, as you can. I know sometimes with uh, you know, tight muscles, your feet might go outwards a little bit, but try to keep them forward. You're going to scoop your hips under you, like I said before, scoop your hips under you, squeeze your glutes, squeeze the, tuck, squeeze the core in, and arch your chest up and back okay and from this from this area right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your arms up and you're going to arch them back following the chest so arch them back and when you're right here so one thing I like to do is I like to take a deep breath and kind of with my energy make a half circle rainbow motion okay take a deep breath you're going to go ahead, inhale, and you're going to exhale. You're going to let the staff come down the front of your arms. Make sure your, your head is back and away. You're going to let go of the front of your arms. And then it's going to go down your chest and then your stomach and to your thighs. You're going to lift one foot up, balance on the other foot. Let it roll down, 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 all the way to the other foot. And make sure you curl your toes up so that the staff comes back at you so that you don't lose control of it. So from there, you wanna make sure that you feel as though as each part of your body touches the staff, you feel yourself connecting into the staff. So melt into the staff, okay? So again, you're gonna plant your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. You're gonna go ahead, curl your hips under you, squeeze the glutes, core tight, push your chest up and away, take a deep breath, you're going to go ahead, you're going to start up here, let it roll down the front of your arm, front of your chest, stomach, your thigh, lift that foot up once it gets to your hip, stick that foot out, curl the toes up, and let it come back to you. And that right there is how you do a front body roll with the contact staff.